What's up everybody, I'm Brian. Thank you for tuning in. Now I want to do a quick review and on feet of my custom NMDs done by Ill Appeal Customs. I have them right here. And for those that don't know, these were originally triple white. I kind of got tired of them, kind of got played out. I knew I wanted to switch it up a little. I wanted mainly a black upper. That was my number one goal. So I got a hold of a good friend of mine over at Ill Appeal Customs. Go check out his Instagram, um, check out his work. If you do want him to do a project for you, let him know I sent you. He will definitely hook you guys up. Now, as I mentioned, I wanted mainly a black upper and then we kind of, throughout the process, we discussed the other features we wanted to do. But without further ado, let's get a closer look at the shoe. All right, and if you start from the bottom, you can see that it is completely blacked out that was one thing that i really wanted to do i wanted the outsole to match the upper so i asked justin to black out the upper or black out the outsole now it most likely will crack off but for now it'll do looks pretty good as you can see right there it wraps around to the toe right here that's one thing that i do love now if you head over to the heel that's one thing that i love about the heel he used now this is actually a pearl white in certain lights it looks silver and in certain lights it looks completely white uh, something that i do love about it i definitely wanted to keep the heel patch white and he also painted over the adidas logos there in black which looks absolutely amazing as i mentioned every white feature on this shoe is actually pearl white even the boost right here is done in pearl white now now i think originally the heel tab here was white but we decided it, it was too much white on the shoe. It, need, it needed a little bit more of a balance. So we decided to black out the pull tab, which I think looks pretty amazing with this, this set of colors. Now, if you look at the upper, as I mentioned, um, mainly all black upper. Uh, originally, we had this leather part right here, white. I don't know if you can see that, this leather part that separates kind of a tongue, I guess, from the toe box. I originally left it white and as I mentioned, oh, this line right here also, as I mentioned, it looked like it was too much white. So we decided to black that out. I think it was a great decision, has a great balance. We didn't want, you know, too much black or too much white on the shoe. As you can see here, I decided to leave the three stripes here in white. Once again, he redid it in pearl white as well as the eyelets here. He redid in pearl white. And big shout outs to Double D. He gave me these black laces to go with the shoe and I think they look pretty amazing. And one thing I wanted to do on the blocks was I definitely, definitely knew I wanted one block black and one block white, but I didn't know which one. Originally I had the back block here white. But once again, we thought it, it was too much white in this area with the heel patch being white and the three stripes. So we decided to flip it around, make this black and make the front block white, pearl white, as I mentioned. And yeah, I think we made a pretty good decision on that. And if you head over towards where the tongue is, we decided to black this. Actually, I decided to black this out. Justin wanted to leave it white. I just thought it looked out of place. This originally is where the Adidas logo is. So I wanted to black it out, make it look a lot cleaner. And of course the, the mesh upper is all black as you can see there. And this is the inner block of the shoe. We decided to do black on the inner block, of course, to match with the outer block. That way when you're walking, it looks, you know, it looks symmetric in my eyes. And one last thing I want to mention is, is the boost is done in pearl white all the way around which looks absolutely amazing to me. All right, and there you have it. Hopefully you guys like the in-depth look at the shoe. I am absolutely, you know, absolutely love how the shoe looks and, you know, a complete 100% happy. Once again, thank you, Ill Appeal Customs. Don't forget to follow him for me, guys. Please go check him out. He really hooked this up. And yeah, as I mentioned, it is a nice day today. Finally can do a little on feet, so how about we head outside and get some on feet footage? Let's go.
All right, and there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review and that quick little on feet footage there. Now I'm, I plan on taking some pictures, post it on Instagram. Now I absolutely, once again, love my shoe. Thank you to Justin over at Ill Appeal Customs. I cannot say it enough. Go check him out, give him a follow, show him some love. And one more thing, my next video, now me and Justin were talking about the outsole, as you can see there, completely black. Looks absolutely amazing. But more than likely over time, it will crack. And that's when me and him discuss soul shields. Now I personally am not a real big fan of soul shields. I don't really want to put them on any of my shoes because you're gonna have to keep replacing it if you decide to wear it a lot. But with that discussion, it made me curious to buy one just to try it out. I'll probably put it on my Bread 11s or something just, just to check it out. And I have it right here. I ordered it from Rejuvenator called Socio. So my next video, probably the one right after this one, gonna be a quick little review on the Soul Shield here. But yeah, so stay tuned for that. But if you guys like this video and if you guys like my shoe, let me know what you guys think of the shoe. Leave it in the, in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for future content. And until my next video, See ya. Now this video, of course, is about Double D's custom NMD. That we got done from a good buddy of mine, Justin. His Instagram account is at Ill Appeal Customs. I'll put it on your screen down there somewhere as well as in the description box below. So, yeah. You like that, Oliver?